Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We just came out of Jim Miller's office, out of the NSN where we found just how dirty Joseph Manderley, Miller's higher up, is. And at the same time, we met the psychiatrist who snuck into Miller's office and was messing around with their computer, which was super suspicious, but uh, at the same time they also wanted us to look into a missing agent, apparently Vince Black. I don't know if I'm supposed to recognize the name or the person, I don't remember them, but apparently we have an agent named Vince Black, who's gone missing and was supposed to be undercover in the Diwali crime family. Haven't heard from them in a while, so they want us to check them out, they're apparently up here. What's everybody gathered around for? Singh deserves some kind of Interpol medal for outstanding service. Sorry for interrupting. What are they doing? I've managed to crack Vince all the way to the repertory cinema yesterday. Did I speak with Vince and Black before? I don't remember who they are. What do they look like? The amount of data to mm -hmm. is huge. How should I do Dozens of people walked in during the Whoa, train ticket. Train ticket for Berlin found in Vince Black's office. From Prague to Berlin. Well, I can't see what that could have to do with the Diwali crime family. I mean, the Diwali is just... Oh, I don't know why I opened up the map like I could see it here. But the Diwali is right here, right next to us, right? Certainly not in Berlin, unless they're like an international crime family. Which I guess they could be. I have their password, apparently. When did I get their password? Vince, our people in Moscow confirmed that Diwali are shipping unlicensed AUGs out of the Czech Republic. We suspect the majority are leaving via unmarked trucks, but it's difficult to know for sure right now because it's definitely looking like some of the police are taking backhanders to look the other way. Worse, if someone desperate enough to deal with the devil can't pay enough, or nobody will miss them. Seems the Diwali are happy to pocket what little they have and sell them to third parties for labor, sex, or spare parts. The team is still compiling the full report. It's pretty nauseating. Vincent, where are you? Between Vincent and D. Novakova. Do you have any, do you have my information? It is not so easy for me to betray my husband. I have your ticket. Berlin. One way. Then we have a deal. Meet me at the Red Queen in one hour. Why so long? The Red Queen is a dangerous place for this kind of business. I have one last thing to take care of. Do you want this over with or not? Fine. I'll be waiting. The Red Queen? I know where that is. Lara, I'm in Vince's office. I think I have a lead. An appointment Vince made with an informant. That sounds promising, Adam. You willing to follow up? Only way to find out what happened to him. If something happened to him. Let's not assume the worst just yet. This is perfect, because I was itching to go check out the Diwali territory anyway, since it's opened up now that it's nighttime. Silencer. Also don't need that, but also I can sell that. Ooh. It's just chatter on top of chatter. So many computers to hack. Well, you've got to look at the obvious first, right? I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. Anomaly. The amount of data is huge. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Who's made the most noise in the pro op movement? Rucker's death has got everything on the web jumping. Vince's files. I need info on a possible gun rider in the red light district working under the working under the radar of both the Diwali and the local cops, so that we might have contacts with law enforcement in another country. Anything, you know. Do you know where Vince keeps his files? I've heard of this guy. The Diwali are looking for him too. As for Vince's files, he tells me as much as he tells anybody else. Jack shit, unless he has to. I know he has a secret hiding place somewhere on site. Maybe he's got some files in there, but I don't know. A secret hiding place on site. 
Huh. Patreo, I got you the code for the storage locker near the office. Shooting competition no, once again. I got a bad feeling about this. Remember the days when people would claim responsibility for the horrible shit they did? Angie, I need you to look hard at a Diwali named Constantine. Mid-level, close ties to both Nicoladze and Botcovelli, which I don't have to tell you is very unusual these days. He died in the bombing. Not sure what he was doing at the station. It's got a lot of the Diwali nervous, and not in any way I've seen before. Go deep on this one. Well, you've got to look at the obvious first, right? Oh, that's from Vincent Black, right? Yeah. Pessimistically optimistic. Is that a thing? Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. It's all about keeping your cock granted. From Duncan to Baker. Baker, looks like your boss is AWOL again, so I'm telling you this instead. Charlie team raided a neon depot on the waterfront. Most of the scumbags went down shooting, but we've got one in holding. He denies he's affiliated with organized crime, but that's for you to determine. He's all yours. Oh yeah, we met that person down in holding like a million years ago, and uh, we weren't able to say anything to them. So they're related to a neon depot on the waterfront. Huh. I wonder if I could speak with them now that I've done the neon quest? Ryan, you're still on Masa Kodlik, right? I got this from my snitch of the Red Queen, so it's legit. Recently, her son Dominic went behind her back for a loan to Otar Botkaveli. Otar thought Masa approved and loaned the kid the money to curry favor with his mother. Now she's mad at Otar. Otar is furious with Dominic, and Dominic refuses to have a sit-down with his mother. Radish wouldn't mind Otar losing face, but it's costing the family money, so he's pissed at everyone. This has the potential to explode. Shooting competition to all staff. Already read that. Any more computers? Oh my god, there's so many computers to hack. Let's dive in. This has been a long time coming. Search warrant? Ben, I finally managed to get that search warrant you wanted for the Internet Cafe. Don't tell anybody your suspicion that Janus contacts a local operative there. They won't accept that because in their minds that makes it a local issue and therefore their jurisdiction, not ours. I got the warrant by pretending the suspected contact is connected to ARC and knew about the bombing. I'll let you know when the warrant arrives. Don't do anything until then. Hmm. It's all about keeping your There's a local place. operative at the Internet Cafe. Where is the Internet Cafe? The bank, Have I seen it? it? Ben, I know Miller wants you on the bombing, but please, under the radar, continue keeping tabs on Janus. We have a lot of people on Rizika, and we need to get this guy before he gets us. Potential windmill sighting. Peter Chang, I've just intercepted some traffic from a hack on Tai Young Medical. The hacker used a Trojan horse to take over the brain of an augmented technician, and the code for the horse was written in Dutch with a decryption key of AVB. I have a crazy theory. Have you ever heard of a hacker named Windmill? Of course I've heard of Windmill. Anybody who knows anything about hacking in the last 10 years has heard of Windmill. His last known activity dates to roughly a week before the incident. Authorities think he was in Hangsha at the time. He disappeared without a trace. Stay on this. If it is him and you're the one who proves he's still alive, you're gonna go down in history. Chang. P.S. Stop calling me PC. <laughs> Ethan, I spoke to the Metro Police on your behalf. They searched the electrical conduits for what you described and found zero evidence of any bridging electronics. 
However, they did find where crumbling infrastructure was allowing water onto the wires that would certainly result in the shutdowns they've been experiencing lately. I'm fairly certain we're mystery solved here. When the liaison said she owed us one I collected. If you ever want to have a look for yourself, the security hub code is keypads open. Huh. What is this? Crumbling infrastructure, water, wires. The shutdown that they've been experiencing lately. Who is they? Well, it says Metro Police, so I guess the police. Could that be talking about that, like, underground, abandoned, old, um, the visitor center that I found down there? To all staff, already seen that. I'm glad Peter Chang doesn't mind me hacking everybody's computer right in front of them. From Meredith to Dolara, canceling sessions. Dr. Azane, I want to thank you for your concern, but I worked very hard with my last therapist outside of the task force, and I'm doing much, much better than I was. I really don't feel it would be responsible for me to take a block of sessions with you, and there's probably someone here who is more in need of them than I am. Meredith, I understand your viewpoint, but one of the most dangerous risks for someone with your background is regression at this stage of the therapy. Basically what happens is that the person thinks they're better and then they act like they used to behave. Then, without the follow-ups and attention professional, they don't realize they're backsliding until it's too late. For your own good, I strongly recommend you come in for at least one session. Just one for now, and then we can see how you're doing. Please consider it. From Peter Cheng, Meredith, Ethan's oh, oh, oh right now. What does that mean? I have no idea what that stands for. I need his uh, work in progress on the known codes Juggernaut's used. He never put it on the server. At least he locks his computer when he's away. I need you to send me the doc. His password is fracking up the A. <laughs> when he gets back in, I'm going to make him change it, and then we're going to bug him about it forever. Uh, stuff about changing your passwords. <laughs> Subject security. Oh. Hi, Angie. Do you know anything about subject security? He's been receiving some pretty high-end tech lately, and I want to check it out. A security store could be a great friend for laundering money to terrorism. Uh, I don't think you'll have any luck, to be honest. We've looked into him before, but didn't find any anomalous activity. Now, he seems like your average ex-vet with PTSD, paranoia, etc. Uh, that said, it can't hurt to check again if you're feeling something might be up. We picked up a code for the guy's storage, which should still be live. So these are giving me some hints on places I can check for some things. So we've got subject security. Um, I want to look for a Janus operative at an internet cafe, potentially. Simon intercepted a local communication talking about a storage locker being used as a drop-off. I looked into it. Turns out it's right near us. We've been watching it for a few days and already clocked several Diwali members going in and out. We should take a look in there when we have a clear idea on when we have a good window of opportunity. We don't want to spook them off. Current code... Hmm. I wonder if that's that storage locker. Remember there was a storage locker I found a while ago that had absolutely nothing that I could take in it? It was like completely empty and I found that really suspicious. I wonder if that's what it's talking about. Hi, Selena. Wanted to share the good news with you. I'm licensed again. I owe it all to my rep who negotiated the deal. I won't bore you with the official alphanumeric designations, but basically all I had to do was change the designation of my legs, and now I'm back on the duty roster. We ship to Afghanistan in 10 days. Looks like your favorite cousin is back to fighting the good fight. I don't know. 
Yeah. Great news? What are they doing in Afghanistan? Talking about uh, fighting the good fight, so I guess war? Great, change the designation on your legs and you get to go fight people in Afghanistan. That's not good news? Selena, need to check the NSN lava wall is still at 100%. I've had to resist a lot of attempted hacks recently, but I'm still told by some that I'm just being paranoid when I keep pushing for security procedures in this place. Like I don't have enough shit to fix. New code, okay. Security update. Hey Peter Chang, you mind if I just hack your computer? You mind if I just look at your chat logs? What are you what are you doing? Security cams. Talking about evolution. Analysis results. Urgent. Hmm. Nice. Okay, there's definitely more computers that I can hack in this place. Let me go find some. Okay, I found a bunch of stuff to check out. So, uh, first let's check out the holding cells. Let's go look at that person down here. See if I can speak with them now. Oh. Um, okay. They're gone. Huh. They're supposed to be related to that waterfront neon thing. Alright, well, next thing. Got some more computers to hack, and actually a bunch of other stuff, not just computers. Some other areas I haven't been to. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Oh! Wow, I got it with very little time left. Meeting notes. Um, ex-husband, all of you're in Prague, apartment, red light district. Oh, there's apartments in the red light district? Oh, I cannot wait. I love apartment blocks when I can hack everybody's places. Uh, yeah, just beating notes, nothing much there. Utilec, some sort of Utilec fugitive. <laughs> some sort of Utilec fugitive. Yes. Perfect. Hotel, six months ago. I don't think we're going to find much interest in here. Holding area entry code. Oh, well, don't need that. Okay. Uh, nothing in IT support. There's a computer here, though. I can't believe I said Utilac like Fugitive. Fugitive? Miss Connolly, I appreciate that your people want to find the people responsible for the train station bombing. Everybody wants to catch those animals. But you need to inform your people that for the time being, it is only suspected that the bombers responsible are the same ones who blew up the police station and the hotel. Until this connection is proven or any party claims responsibility, the state police have jurisdiction and your people need to respect that. Ah, uh, right. Power struggle between is it a local crime or is it, you know, terrorism or what have you? Pedro, a recent news article claiming claimed that one in three cops in Prague are corrupt. From my dealings with state police, I would have estimated that only about 25% were actually on the take, but the number looks higher because of how many others just act like Neanderthals. <laughs> but I'd like an expert's evaluation. Do you have any hard data or just guesstimates? Good question. Someday I'd like to get a file on every cop in the city, but who has time? From everything my CIs tell me and what I've picked up from the Diwali themselves, I would say the number of cops in organized crime's pocket is most likely higher than 30%, but probably below 40%. We hope. One third seems a reasonable guess. <clears throat> Holy shit! One third. That is an obscene number. I love just taking and fortifying everything, even if I don't need to. It's just fun. Make it all blue. Access granted. We should find out, but it's not a priority. Oh, Chikane. They uh were my pilot. From Ava Cook to Chikane, insurance, Elias. 
James instructed me to handle the insurance on the workshop before they make things awkward by requesting to assess it themselves. We're likely to get hit hard on the fire risk angle. We thought it could help if you clear up some of the stuff and make sure there's nothing lying around that might cause any issues. Probably some nuts. Uh, don't need the help. I store the tools and clean out most of the puppets for a retired look. <laughs> Maybe you can use a few of them to replace some agents at TF29. Ah, talking about, right, the creepy puppet place right before you get to the landing pad. Hazards. Jim, I know you probably don't want to hear this, but it's my responsibility to tell you. This office environment is unsafe. Cables all over the floor, an air vent with live electricity and water in it, etc. As the office manager, I don't have the authority to force people to fix these things. I'm sure you understand. Thanks. Uh, yes, I do understand your concerns, but on my priority list right now, terrorism is beating out office health and safety for number one. Sorry. There are many things around this office I would like to see fixed, but hiring a professional cleaner isn't near the top. For the vent, sort out vetted contractors by the end of the week. As for the cables, everyone will just have to pick their feet up. Well, it's good to see somebody notice the live electricity in the vent. Christ. Do you have anything new to say, do you? Adam, I'm glad you came back. I thought you'd be topside by now. Oh, hey, I forgot to ask. That appointment you found between Black and his informant? Did it say anything else? Just a location. A nightclub called the Red Queen. It's not much, but hopefully it'll lead to something else. I hope so, too. Listen, I really appreciate you doing this, Adam. I know how busy you are. No problem. I'll let you know if I find something else. When you find something else. Right. When. I'll see you around. That's got a Okay, a couple more things. Um, yeah, I've already hacked the computer in here in Smiley's office, but I did notice... I have not hacked this. Crap. Trace program initiated. Access granted. By the way, I have no idea what breach software is. I have it somewhere here yeah breach software there's found and traded and i have no idea what this is the display for it is very strange there's also these weird i don't know what that shape is tetrahedron or something whatever that shape is there's three of them here three of them here and they look kind of out of place i don't know what they indicate i guess they're maybe just a collectible i don't know Every time I get one of those, I'm just like, okay. They're even more confusing to me than triangle codes. Oh, by the way, I found somebody special in here. Janitor's just chilling out in the toilet reading an ebook. People don't pay much attention to me, so I see all kinds of things they wouldn't want anyone else to know about. Anyway. Um, right, I found a pocket secretary over here. Vaughn Lee. Burf room. Burf room code? Prelim for a meeting. Nah, a bunch of stuff. Wait a minute. Planned Operation Ascension. Ascension? Isn't that what the, uh, the cult called? When they all become one with the... I don't know. One with the something. One with each other. All right, there's one more big area. Yeah, the infirmary. Speaking of, the doctor is always out. I've never seen them. So we've already hacked their computer, already read that stuff. Wait, are you the doctor? The government? Nope. Something strange is going on here. But I've not been in here.
Wait a sec, what's over there? Is that a secret room or something? I need to check that out in a second. What's... What's that? Oh no, I can just jump straight up there. Huh. A lot of green. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Neuropazine. Three of them. How many do I have now? Twelve. Oh. Sort of a secret room. Kinda. It's like a janitor's closet, sort of. Whoa, Praxis Kit! I was expecting something so big. Okay. I think that's everything in here. You okay there? Are you are you okay? I see smoke. Whoa. Shit. That was very strange with Marcy, but um, I guess it was just sort of faulty uh, Did you feel that? programming. <laughs> they were meant to just come over to the door and see the explosion. Uh, yeah, something blew up, right? Right about there. Well, uh, I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go investigate the explosion.